Notre Dame and Michigan State. This, this. No, no, Notre Dame's no. overrated as shit. Whatever yes. they got to do to get that quarterback back, they need to. Hopefully he makes it back next year because without him, they are a shell of that team that they were last year. I understand they don't have Eifert and they don't have some other key pieces, but they are not a good-looking football team. Right. They are, they're not, man. I mean, they struggled against Michigan State in Notre Dame, you know, in South Bend. Uh, Michigan State, you know, held them to only 17 points. And basically, it was a really good close game until the end. I mean, you know, it's Michigan State – the problem was it's just Michigan State's offense. They have a nasty defense, but if they could have put together just one final drive, they could have won this game and got out of South Bend with a win. Um, so Michigan State, another team in the Big Ten. I think the next best team in the Big Ten is the uh, team I'm about ready to bring up, and I think that's Wisconsin. Um, they, you know, they obviously got a loss, but uh, but they're you know they're sitting at three and one. They're ranked 24th in the country, and they just went right through Purdue yesterday, 41 to 10. Well, I'm going to tell you, in my opinion, the difference between the top team in the Big Ten and the second team is so huge. I think there's a giant, giant discrepancy, whereas the SEC, I think the top three or four schools are all pretty, you know, all within a player or two of each other. I I just think Ohio State is so far head and shoulders above the next best team in the Big Ten, it's not even funny. I mean, I don't think any team in the Big Ten's got a shot at beating Ohio State. Those guys ran the table last year, and it looks like they're on on pace to do it again. I, I don't foresee them losing at all. Yeah. And they're just nasty. I mean, not taking anything away from Wisconsin, but I just, I, at three and one, dude, I just. Dude.